Now take us through the injury. When that officially occurs for yourself, just walk us through everything that happened, how you handled it, how you dealt with it. I re- I got hurt like one of the first games of the season. I fell pretty hard. Um, back just tightened up on me. And a little bit of a sharp pain, but kind of went away. It wasn't too bad. But as I got tired throughout practices and games, um, back never really got a chance to heal because when you're in season, I mean, you don't get too many days off. Yeah. Um, and at that point when your back is pretty tight and can't do much for it, what you need is days off and you just, you just don't have them. So <clears throat> think fast forward a couple games landed pretty hard again, that jolted it hurt pretty bad. The sharp pains were a little more often. And then um, we ended up flying out to Fort Myers uh, for the Florida tournament. Um, and I actually, the plane ride was just terrible. Like my back was, my back was already tight after that. I was cramping up, I had to sit there and have our trainer um, basically massage it and like just try to get it loose to where I could walk. Cause I couldn't really walk. Like I was, I was just having to lay down and sit down and it was miserable. Um, and then throughout that, I, I actually ended up missing one of the games in Fort Myers due to the back. Cause it was so tight and I, I couldn't run, couldn't move. It just hurt. And then, I actually ended up getting, uh, when we got back, I ended up getting a cortisone shot um, just to kind of alleviate some of the swelling that was in it and mm-hmm. um, minimize the pain. And then the game at, or the next game after that was um, our Denver one. And I ended up getting hurt that one. And obviously uh, went up for a rebound, got it undercut. And from there, when I landed, uh, I just knew it was pretty, pretty bad. Cause it, it hurt really bad. And, Um, as the feeling came and I could actually understand what was happening, I couldn't really feel my leg. Um, and they had to end up wheelchairing me off, but I ended up bruising my sciatic nerve. So they didn't know when it was going to come back. It was kind of just like when the swelling goes away and when it's not bruised, it'll, the feeling will come back. And so every day waking up, like hopefully today's the day it it comes back, um, is, is kind of scary, but a long process that led up to it just in sort of pain and, um, all the stuff that was happening. So it was, it was definitely long, but is what it is. So was that rehab process something that took you the rest of the season into the spring and summer, or just, was that something that just got done with at some point during the year? Like how long was a rehab for you? I mean, I've never really stopped doing stuff. I stopped to do stuff for it. Um, whether, so I can't do crunches. Like I'm not supposed to do crunches or sit-ups for the rest of my life, but we do a lot of modified stuff. It doesn't hurt anymore. Um, but the actual physical therapy of, I think I couldn't, I couldn't walk or feel my leg for about three months. So couldn't walk and had to basically use crutches. And I had a, when feeling did come back, I actually realized I sprained my MCL um, and had a high ankle sprain. So had a boot on, had a a knee brace on the whole leg was just like a robot, (laughs) but it was, after that, I actually started like actual like PT at a, at a clinic and that process probably took about a year um, where we were just doing certain exercises just to try to strengthen all the, the little muscles and big muscles in your back that uh, need to work together. Um, and then, like I said, since then, it's kind of been just um, maintenance and doing what I can to make sure it doesn't get tight because it'll still get tight at some points. Um, but the pain is kind of, it comes with the tightness, but it's not something that is there every single day like it was. So when that day did come, you started feeling your legs again, feeling in a way more normal than you probably did before. Do you remember when that was? And just what was your reaction? Uh, I don't remember when, like, I, I don't know the date, but yeah, it hurt really bad. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't really wish it upon anybody when your nerves kind of come back to trying to feel something that burns. Like it's like a, they're set on fire almost. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. You'd kind of have to feel it to know what it feels like. But um, I just remember it it hurting a lot, um, but also being excited and wanting to kind of push the envelope to try to walk and get back and run and jump and do all these things and having to be told like, no, we got one step at a time, like Mm -hmm. calm down. Let's just do it nice and slow. Make sure you can get back right was 
it was frustrating. It hurt, but it was also exciting. But I had atrophy in my, my leg basically from not using it. So all the, the muscles were gone. My leg looked skinny, looked like straight bones. So I had to get muscles back on it and then figuring out how to walk properly because I hadn't walked so long that um, I had to focus on heel to toe, heel to toe, just to make sure I was, I was walking properly and not just like dragging my foot along the floor. And then once I got that kind of taken care of, um, kind of like knowing how to ride a bicycle, the running, the jumping kind of came back. Obviously I was a little more hesitant to do it just in a sense of my body knew it hurt itself. And it was kind of hard to get it to want to get up to division one, like level again, but once I got past the walking and all of that, it just took time. Um, I had to sit there and build all the muscles, build all the muscles, build all the muscles until I could work on actually um, playing basketball and practicing again. 